One of the common questions we receive in NRED support is how to reverse the direction of cross sections. For example, a stream may be stationed going upstream. However, the user requires that the cross sections be displayed going downstream. However, they do not want to reverse the stationing here. They want the cross sections to still be stationed um, in accordance with the way they are shown here. However, they just need them to go in descending order. In this video, I'm going to show a workflow to accomplish this. So as you can see here, I have an alignment. Uh, it's stationed starting with a zero here, and it ends at station 16, 13. Now you notice if I cut cross sections along this alignment, By default, they're going to start here with station 0 plus 0, 0 and work their way up to the point of ending. There is no functionality available right now to set that to go in descending order. So what we'll have to do is a few additional steps to make this happen. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this cross section set now. And the first thing that I'm going to do is transpose the alignment. So I'm going to do that by going to Geometry, Utilities, Transpose. This is simply going to reverse the direction of the alignment. So I'll select my alignment and click Apply. Now you can see when I redisplay the stationing, that this has now become my end station with my start station now up on this end which is the upstream end. Now before the next step what I want to do is make note of the exact ending station here. And I've already gone into File, Project Options and I've set my station precision up to seven decimal places. So now I'll go into my horizontal alignment, right click and select review. I'm going to scroll down to my point of ending and I'm going to make a note here. I'm going to write this down that my point of ending is 16 plus 12.9799111. Now I can close out of this. And now I'm going to go in and change my start stationing for my alignment by going to Geometry, Horizontal Curve Set, Stationing, And I'm going to change my start stationing to negative 16112.9799111. And I'll click Apply and Close. Now I'm going to redisplay my stationing. And you can see now that. I do have my start stationing here at zero. Moving on up, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so forth. So I'm basically using the negative number to trick inroads uh, into cutting these cross sections the way that I want them. Now when I go in and cut my cross sections, You can see that they are being cut here uh, in descending order 
starting from upstream and moving downstream. So now I'm going to show you an additional step that you can do which will allow you to manually delete these negative values. So what I'm going to do is this time when I cut the cross sections, I'm going to add a prefix to this title down here. And I'll do that under create cross section, axes, bottom, and you can see the title here. And I'm just going to give that a some sort of unique prefix that does not occur anywhere else in the DGN. So I know that I don't have any dollar signs there. I'll click apply and place my cross sections. And now you can see that I have the dollar sign and the negative station number. From here I can go into edit, find and replace text. And what I want to do is find everywhere that I have a dollar sign and a negative. And I want to replace that with, with nothing, with a blank space. So I'll do a find. You can see it got it there and I'm going to replace. And there's the next one and I'm going to replace. And the next one and replace. So now that I see that that's working pretty well I'm just going to go ahead and replace all. Okay. So now when you look, you can see that I have the stations, again, the negative is gone, and they're in reverse order, just as I wanted them displayed. Now we still have the negatives over here, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is switch this back to the way that I wanted it to appear. So I'll just go in reverse here. I'll go to Geometry, Horizontal Curve Set, and Stationing. I'm going to set the stationing back to zero and click Apply. And close. And you can see now that my stationing is back starting at zero and increasing this direction. Now I can go into the Geometry Utilities Transpose command and I'm going to switch this alignment back the direction that it goes and click Apply, Close, Geometry, View Geometry, Stationing again. So now you can see that the alignment itself is back exactly the way that it was in the beginning. And the cross sections, now that we've performed some manual changes to them, are going to match up perfectly with, with these cross sections here. Now remember, because of some of the changes and the manipulations that you've done, you have lost some of the intelligence between the alignment and the cross sections. So before you do this workflow, you would want to make sure that you're creating your final set of cross sections uh, for delivery so that you would not encounter problems with updating your cross sections or that sort of thing.